Yeah, uh, you know, a couple of names that like would be intriguing, like names to like talk about at the deadline is as far as improving this team in a couple areas. You've got a guy like Ben Attendee. Andrew Ben Attendee seems to be like the hottest name. You know, it seems like on the trade market, everybody's interested in Ben Attendee. But I'd bring him here and let him play center field. I know he's not playing center field right now, but he's played it in the past. And people go say, oh, the reason they moved him to the left field because he's not there, he's not that, he's not going to play. Listen, my left testicle is probably better than anything we have in center field right now. So the idea that Ben Attendee can come in and, like, the guy's an on-base machine. He, he, he doesn't strike out a ton, which is huge in today's MLB. You have very, you know, very few high on-base percentage, low strikeout guys. And he walks more than he strikes out. It's, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things that, you, you know, high contact guy in this lineup where there's a lot of swing and miss involved with a lot of, you know, high risk, high reward. You know, it's, he's, he's a really, really solid offensive player. And what you're getting in center field is way better at that point than anything we've come close to getting from anybody else. Or Duval Herrera, which that experiment should have ended three years ago. Like, I mean, yeah, Duval Herrera is like that. Like, it's like the old Yeller story. Like, why hasn't somebody taken him out to the fucking shed and just shot him yet? Like, can we take him out to the woodshed and just put him out of his misery? Like, holy fuck. It's more like putting our team out of this misery because we brought him. Like like, I mean, it's like, how a, is it like, like a, this guy? He's like it's a cat. Just, he has like nine lives. And to go back to uh, the Andrew Benetton thing, how crazy it, that when he got traded to the Royals, everybody was talking about, oh, my God, this is a bad trade for the Red Sox, and the Royals just fleeced him. The Red Sox have done better with that trade than the Royals have. The Royals had that nice team that they thought they were going to compete with, and they just bombed. And then ever since then, they've been trying to sell everybody but Perez. And you could probably get him for a good price right now with what they're trying or Bobby to Bobby Witt Jr. <laughs> pretty, yeah. pretty much the only people that like, yeah, they're like, the Royals are like, nope, like you can't have is Salvador Perez and Bobby Witt Jr. Like, yeah. Outside of that, <laughs> have it. And he's he's a true center fearer there. 